Hello ladies and gentlemen. I want to talk to you about exponential functions. Um, exponential functions are any function given in the form b to the x where x is the variable so the variable is going to be in the exponent. These are different than power functions that we've been dealing with so far. I'd also like you to make a particular note that we're talking about a base that's got to be greater than zero. Okay, so these are called exponential functions and again they are different than power functions. Now power functions we've been dealing with up until now so x squared and x to the negative 7 these are ones that have a variable in the base however what we're going to be working with we're going to have a variable as actually located in the exponent of the function so here's some examples 1 to the x, 2 to the x, 3 to the x, 5 to the x and so on Shown below are some curves of exponential functions. I'm um, just going to bring this up so you can see it a little bit better. And you'll notice that 10 to the x, the base is larger, so it rises faster than 5 to the x or 3 to the x and 2 to the x. All of these are increasing functions. You'll notice that 1 to the x is a horizontal line because no matter what value I put in for x, 1 to the exponent of whatever is going to be 1. And notice that we also have decreasing functions are members of this family where the base is going to be between 0 and 1, so the decreasing. So there's two groups of this family of functions, and they are either going to be ones where it's b to the x, where b is greater than 1, and they're all going to be increasing functions, or we're going to have y equals b to the x, where b is going to be between 0 and 1, so that would be like a fraction. And please note that these would be decreasing. Um, anything else I wanted to say about that? No, I think that's just about it. So these are exponential functions. And I want to talk about a particular exponential function. So right now I have to introduce you to a brand new number. You've never seen this number before, at least not officially in math classes. And this number is called E. It is a number. It is not a letter anymore. It's just like pi. Pi was an irrational number. 3.14 and on and on and on. Well, E is approximately equal to 2.718. This number E was found in the applied sciences. Many biological, chemical, and physical relationships in the real world are modeled by this function. So that's where this comes from. Okay, it wasn't invented. It was more discovered than anything else. And basically, E to the x is a function that has a base of e. So it would be similar to 2.718 to the x. Okay, That curve looks like this and it's going to have a point here. So when e to the 0 equals 1 and notice this point here, e to the 1 is going to be 2.718. So that's why we have an x value of 1 and a y value of 2.718, and an increase in function. We're going to look at some properties of e to the x. Notice that when we talk about e to the x, it looks like this. All exponential functions go through the point 0, 1, and it would go through the point 1, e, or 2.718. Notice that the range of this is all positive. Notice that e to the x is defined on the entire domain. Notice that e to the 0 is 1. Notice that we have an asymptote here, that this function is coming closer and closer and closer, but never touching. And notice that it's an increasing function. As x gets closer and closer and closer to negative infinity, e to the x approaches 0. As x approaches positive infinity, e to the x is approaching positive infinity. So we'll stop here and we'll come back in just a moment.